Hiya, thanks for coming. So we're going to do quick fire questions with some people that I really love. So uh, let's, let's start. Bedroom and sleep and sort of that interior related. My first question is to you, Princess Julia, what colour are your bedroom walls? Oh, oh well, they're just a white. But you see like how you've got a bit of an accent. Accent. <laughs> yeah. So I did that. <laughs> <laughs> But I did a square. Perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. So it's like a fright, like a a Trump de doodah. Trump loyal. Yeah, on Trump the wall. Loyal. That was an artistic bent. Yeah. That I felt perfect. it was appropriate. Right down to the nitty gritty. Oh, yeah. Who's been your favourite housemate? Well, and why? And I reckon there's been a few. There's been a lot of my, uh, <laughs> housemates over the years. I could go, do a set list, but one of my favourites is. Stephen Jones, mm. the milliner, mm. yeah, who I shared a, a flat with in the 80s, that seminal decade. That seminal decade. <laughs> and was he constantly sticking things yeah. to your head? He was constantly sticking things to my head. I was the model vivants on many occasions, <laughs> would try out different looks, but um, he did have a, a little salon actually that um, we did do um, little shows Every now and again. Right. One other question. What's the last thing you do before going to bed? Um, uh, I'm a terrible social media addict and I do like a scroll. <laughs> <laughs> Either scrolling. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Or um, <laughs> um, I go, uh, go on Netflix or Now TV or something like that and catch up with the latest things. There it is. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, what about that? Thank you so much. That's Thank great. You. Thank you. We've got Alexis Taylor. Hi. Hi, John. How are you? Yeah, I'm really well, thank you. I'm really good. I'm going to fan myself. I'm boiling. I'm living out my poly dream with these uh, question cards as well. So those Shoes all right on the bed? Absolutely. Okay. You can buy that blanket afterwards. <laughs> thank you. Discount price. Right. Getting straight to it. What posters did, posters did you have on your bedroom wall when you were younger? Highlights. Um, I had one Prince Love Sexy yep. poster. Makes sense. Um, that's a good one for the uh, family members to see you having on the wall, the kind of naked Prince um, poster. I had Prince Batman soundtrack poster as well. Um, spiritualized mm -hmm. from a concert I went to. And then just some record sleeves that I'd mounted yeah. on the wall. Yeah. Actually, it's funny because actually that, that soundtrack to the first Batman film by Prince is a favourite of mine. Yeah. I love it. Me it's too, quite yeah. underrated. It is. Yeah. A lot of Prince fans think that's the moment where it really begins to go wrong, but I'm, I'm into quite into it. that one. Yeah. Um, have you ever fell asleep anywhere weird or woken up anywhere weird? Um, not really. That's a boring answer. Um, <laughs> a, a, a good friend of mine who used to do sound for my band woke up in a he took us to see jay-z once mm. in in la when when jay-z was flying around to different states throughout the day to, to launch his album and this friend of mine got us into that gig and then he stayed very late um and he woke up in the kind of office of the venue um when you know everyone else had left and the, the, the new day was beginning um and he'd been through quite a lot of trauma through the evening that he, he was kind of remembering as, as he came round. Um, but I personally am much more kind of, I find it hard, hard to fall asleep. Yeah. So I don't tend to yep. fall asleep in those kind of interesting rock and roll what situations. Trauma, what trauma had he gone through, I wonder? <sighs> I don't know if I'm that really I'm allowed intrigued. to talk about. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not really appropriate <laughs> for everyone to know. Um, <laughs> maybe his belt had like come loose and his trousers did kind of fallen down throughout the evening. Um, so, yeah. Oh, on that note, thank you. Paloma. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm liking this Chanel outfit. Do you want to tell Thanks. us about this? It's all completely fake. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all Roman road. <laughs> I think that's perfect. I like this draped across the bed a lot. That's brilliant. First question, do you sing in your bedroom? Oh. No, this is really dry. I don't really listen to music at home or sing. That's interesting. Because I quite like the piece. Yeah, because it's the opposite of what you do. Yeah, but today. obviously now I'm a mum, I sing lots of nursery rhymes. 
when I was thinking about this, <laughs> I, I assumed that you have quite glamorous pyjamas if you wear pyjamas. Is this true? I've got some Bowie ones and some print ones. But my favourite is actually from um, when a certain quite successful pop star's mum apparently was a fan of mine. And as a present to thank me for putting her on the guest list, she gave me a T-shirt of her son who was Harry Styles. <gasps> <laughs> so sometimes I wear my Harry Styles t-shirt to bed. <laughs> I think he'd be pleased to know that. I, I think that's flattering. Very. Next question. Have you got any art on your bedroom walls? And if you haven't, yeah. feel free. I'm actually uh, in a relationship with a painter. I knew that, actually. So there's a bit of that going on. And um, I've got some old vintage 50s film posters. Hmm. Massive ones about the size of that wall. Right, next question. Did you ever sneak out of your bedroom as a teenager? Uh, yeah, I did. Where to? Um, the boyfriends that lived around the corner. I've actually written a song about it called Sing Kings and Queens and it says in the second verse they sent out the search party. And it's true because the oh. police used to come looking for me. <laughs> Where did you grow up? Where are you from? Hackney. So my mum would be worried that, and then the police would come and find me. The police came, they found you, they found you. I'm glad. Thank you. Thanks. We've got Matty Bowman next. Go for it. <laughs> um, congrats on the tree, it's looking good. Thanks. I really like it. Thanks, John. Right. I wanted to know, how is your bedroom decorated? Because judging on your aesthetic, I'm, I would be imagining something quite maximal. Um, not really. Actually, for years, I've always had like white bedrooms. Maybe that's because you have to rent places. But recently, I just painted um, my bedroom this kind of really weird, what I'd describe as unfashionable coral. Like a really weird colour, kind of prawny, mango-y. Quite a dull coral. No, kind of horribly bright, like quite offensive. Which is my um, only thing I want was house colours. Amazing. Or any colour. Yeah, you want it to be slightly off kilter. What about objects, art on the walls? Yeah, I've got um, some masks my friend Rory made hanging up. And then a picture of my grandma. Nice. And that's kind of it. Usually quite minimal because there's quite a lot going on in everything else. Yeah. But I think I'm, I'm almost the same. I don't have so much in my bedroom because I look at so much stuff every day. Oh yeah, totally. So and it's, quite, it's nice. quite nice to have it a bit more blank. What, <laughs> but this question, what's the naughtiest thing you got up to in your bedroom? Naughty thing? I'm not going to answer that. It's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> <laughs> what was your childhood duvet cover design? Oh, um, I had some boats for years. I liked the boats. It matched everything. That but was nautical. Yeah. yeah, that is quite posh. Well, I wonder, it matched the lamp. Where were they from, I wonder? <laughs> I don't know. My mum's here somewhere. I could ask her. They were blue, red. They were very boy colours. Mum answer. Have we got an answer She's probably got lost. <laughs> At what age did you take over your bedroom decorating duties? Um, I think as soon as I could, I liked putting anything I could to personalise it. Remember, I had some horrible like disco cushions. Yeah, but there's. Uh, thank you, wavy mirrors from IKEA. Wavy mirrors. That's on that leaving note. Thank you. Thank you, John. Cheers. Thank you, Margot Henderson. Hi. Um, do you have any art on your bedroom walls? Uh, yeah, I've got a huge photo that Johnny Shankid did of Gary Hume and. Um, Kareth when Evans sort of snogging. Kareth's got a hickey on his neck and they're in the French house dining room and I wake up to it every day and sometimes I'm annoyed with them because they're pissed as pickles <laughs> and sometimes I, I've had enough of you guys. You've got to go. But then I'm in love with it really. Yeah. And I can't, we can't get rid of it. It's beautiful. Yeah. No, that sounds great. Because yeah. in your line of work, you must meet a lot of people. Yeah, a hell of a, a lot. few people. Yeah. yeah I've tarted myself around this town. You have to. This <laughs> yeah. is how, what you have to do. <laughs> I've done it like this. Has anybody <laughs> ever fell asleep in the restaurant? Well, apart from Fergus, of course. <laughs> no. Uh, falling asleep. Yes, I think that is gorgeous if somebody fell asleep in the restaurant. It's quite a good sign. Uh, yeah, a lone diner, eating a meal, satisfied, then gently nodding off would be really lovely. It's quite a good compliment, actually, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it'd be it nice. Is. What helps you get to sleep? Um... Oh, <laughs> um, well, I'm always tired, so, yeah. you know, sleep's not really a problem. Yeah. But, um, wine helps. Wine helps, yeah, drinking food. Life helps, you know. True, working true. Working hard. Um, night owl or lark? Ooh, well, you know, a bit of both, but, you know, I'm 
getting older, so I'm, you know, I need my sleep. I like a good eight hours, so it's hard to fit it in if you go to bed. But, you know, I used to be able to go to bed at three, get up at seven with the kids, work all day. Thank you. Thank you, Margot. We've got Alex Fury, our final guest. Hiya. Hiya. Last person. Here we go. Um, have you ever visited a fashion designer's bedroom? If so, who was it? Yes. I've been in... Um, I went to Gianni Versace's bedroom. Amazing. And I've been to America Trance's bedroom a few times, but she's a friend of mine. So that's right. like, not as weird as it sounds. How was Versace's bedroom? Um, Versace's bedroom was very um, brown. Really? <laughs> like kind of carved wood, very ornate. Um, and it's like just below the studio in Versace. Was that a surprise to you? Because I imagined it being pretty ostentatious. I kind of, it wasn't like, I, I'm, I'm making it, sound like not that ostentatious it was all carved and everything okay. it was, you know it was quite sort of elaborate just not gold fair dues um whose bedroom would you like to visit and why <laughs> professionally maybe professional, out of a professional bedroom i'd quite bedroom. like to go in marlene dietrich's bedroom yeah that's one like, anybody else you know, i imagine that would be very glamorous um see i'm just thinking of awful people now like Theresa may and adolf hitler like it'd be quite good to go in their bedroom i would be intrigued it would be what they're reading yeah Bedside um, table. Who was your bedroom pinup when you were young, um, and why? <laughs> my bedroom pinup when I was young was John Galliano because I was that kind of child. Um, so yeah, uh, not so much the man himself, but I guess the clothes yeah. from different things. Is, yeah. So is he your favourite designer? See, that's a very difficult See, question. This, this yeah. Is, yeah, it opens a can yeah. of worms. Well, yeah, one of them. But, one of them. So he yeah. he captivated you from quite an early age. He's, he's the reason I started doing it. Yeah. Yeah. He's the real reason. I think that sounds good. Um, reading, what's on your bedside cabinet? What book is on your bedside cabinet? Oh, um, my bedside cabinet is a bookcase. Right. So there's a lot on there. But I guess at the moment, I'm reading a book called Chic Savages okay. by John Fairchild. Right. Which is good. It's about fashion because everything I do is about fashion. Yeah, true. Nothing that broad. Yeah. But I'm going to read one called Coco Chanel's Secret War, which is about how Coco Chanel was a Nazi. So that, that's interesting. I'd heard that, actually. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Before I mention that. Yeah, no, that was <laughs> saved by the bell. Um, thanks, everybody. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Um, let's get drunk. <laughs>